The killing and wounding of cattle and horses is one of the most emotionally charged incidents associated with the Dakota Access Pipeline protest in Sioux and Morton counties in North Dakota. Authorities are investigating, but the facts in the situation are hard to pin down. Rancher Jack Thomas says protesters from the Sacred Stone camp adjacent to his land are responsible. But LaDonna Brave Bull, who started the camp, says she's skeptical about the killings. Nicol Pates traveled to Standing Rock to investigate. We lost seven cows and two horses so far. Rancher Jack Thomas has lived in the Cannonball area all his life, and he says he's never had anything happen to his livestock before the Dakota Access Pipeline protest started. We're still missing 20 to 25 cows, and we don't know where they're at. We don't, they ain't accounted for, and we can't find anything. Thomas says he doesn't have any suspicions about who did it. The brand inspector and county sheriff and even the FBI are investigating. The only concern I got is with my livestock. It's my livelihood. That's what I take care of my family with, and that's what we survive on, and that's all I want is them to leave things alone. LaDonna Brave Bull Allard owns the land Thomas is leasing for his cattle. It's adjacent to the Sacred Stone camp, which she also started. In July, she asked the BIA to cancel Thomas's lease because her family plans to develop a cultural camp there. The cattle has never been in my camp. They have never come down into the camp. They are on top of the hill in the land. They are in the road. Bray Bull says she runs a peaceful prayer camp with no alcohol, drugs, or weapons. And she says most people there are vegetarians, so would not be slaughtering animals for food anyway. No offense to anybody, but most of the people at my camp are non-Indians. Majority are city dwellers. They are not the type of people that go out and, and kill and butcher animals. Can you think of why someone would report missing cattle if they didn't have missing cattle? I have no idea. Mickle will have much more on this story in Monday's Ag Week magazine.